bleepers, how the devil are you? Today we're going to go for another treasure hunt, looking for treasure. Our fingers in the earth and in the mud, searching and scrabbling around for little bits of nothingness. Today I've made a conscious effort to make this video longer as a hat tip and a nod to those poor people who are having to self-isolate at the moment because of coronavirus. Um, so I'm going to make a longer video today. I'm going to stay out a few hours longer. So I'm going to try and get out there for six, six, five to six hours today, I think. Uh, typically, I only do three to four hours. So I'm going to stay longer in the hope that I'm going to find more things and therefore make more content and hopefully entertain your unwell faces. Seriously, if you have got that as well, um, then I hope you get over it quickly. The weather today is tenuous and changeable. At the moment, it's sunny, but... Uh, there's a big old black cloud over there that um, I can see, so I think it's going to rain at some point. As always, thank you to my patrons. You guys make this channel possible at the moment, to be to be honest with you, like helping me with my petrol, etc, etc. So again, thank you, patrons. If you're interested in becoming a patron, then there's a link below. Okie dokie then, and on that note, let's go out and find some treasure. I think I've got some sort of... Um flowery mount here. You see, just going through the mud there. I'm going to give us a clean up. This could, be, this could be interesting, actually. Ah, the sun's just coming out. And that just makes that shine all the more, doesn't it? Look at that. That is cool, isn't it? That's exactly what it is. It's a, uh, it's a mount of some sort. And it's got this like awesome kind of flowery pattern on it. Isn't that cute? Oh, that is really nice. I like that. I could probably do something with that, quite creative, I think. Watch this space, patrons. Aha! Now we know what one of these is, don't we? Because I found one in a recent video, which perplexed me. I was like, what is this? Couldn't figure out what it was, but then, of course, I unscrewed the top, and inside was a treasure map. No, no, unfortunately, inside was not a treasure map. Uh, inside was, that's a cool idea, though. I like that idea, burying these places and putting treasure maps in. Anyway, um, um, yes, no, this is a dog um, identification thingy me jiggy. Um, I can't do it all with one hand, but it should be uh, a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper will be um, the dog's phone number because it goes around its neck and if it gets lost, um, then you can just unscrew that and you can ring its owner and say, hey, I have your pooch. Let's have a little unscrew and see if we can find out the dog's name at least. And uh, there you go, I've unscrewed it. And there was indeed a piece of paper inside. And the little doggy's name is, or was, hopefully is, Perry. And obviously there's phone number and all other details on there. Um, I, I might give it a ring and just say, hey, do you want this back? <laughs> but then again, it's kind of, if the dog's died, you, you don't really want to do that, do you? Um, I'll have a think about it. But yes, there you go. Now you know. Now, I thought this one was just a uh, bag seal, I thought, in the first instance. But I can just see some sort of, maybe some sort of mark there. And I'm hoping that this is actually going to be another great signal again. I'm hoping that this is going to be a farmer's token of some sort. Uh, let me just give it a quick clean up. Oh, yes, look at that. That is a beauty. Love lead farmer's tokens. So we've got the cross there, and then we've got the uh, pellets in each quarter, which would have designated something. Um, I'm guessing a price of some sort. Although I don't think I've ever had them with less than four dots in, so perhaps not. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Nobody is sure how it works. No one's. Uh, uh, there's no kind of like documentation explaining how they, um, what the numerical. Um, kind of like equivalents were but yeah we know that they are tokens of some sort I'm really happy with that I love them okay listen to this 
That's a beautiful signal and I think we might have some gold. Oh no, maybe not. There's something poking out the top there that looks like wire. And it doesn't feel heavy enough to be gold. Oh, tricked. I think this might be some sort of costume jewelry and I think it's falling apart. Okay, I'm gonna give this a light cleanup just in case. Well, I've got no idea what that is whatsoever. Great signal again. I was gonna say an earring, but it's so kind of sporadic in design that I'm not entirely sure. Not gold, but I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That's a very strange thing. Still yet interesting, I would say. Do you not think bleepers? Very, very odd. Right, I'm not sure what this is, but we do have something in the clod here, as you can see. So break that open. Okay, what is this? It's just a little, oh, I think it's a, uh, is it a keyhole? I think it might be a little keyhole. Yeah, that's what that is. Little keyhole cover. Okay, whatever it is, is in my hands. Uh, oh, well, there it is. Well, you can see straight away why it was such a good target. It's not a coin, though. I did expect it to be, but it's not. not. Now, let's give this a quick clean up and see what this actually is. But lovely, lovely tone. Yeah, no idea what that is at all whatsoever. I was hoping it was going to be a matrix seal, but... No, alas. Yeah, no idea what this is. But again, you can see why it was such a good target. Um, circular. And of course, if it was like that in the mud, flat up, it's going to be more of a prominent target. Really, really good tone. Whoa, look at that! It's got ancient alien hieroglyphics. Griffics? Glyphics! All over it. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. comes from when civilization was controlled by the alien races. It, woo, a couple of little skulls in there. Can you see them looking at us? This is, of course, an urchin. Is it an urchin? The urchin is one of those strange words. You know, sometimes when you... It's a really simple word and you think, is that, is that the word of the word? And then you try and spell it and you go, ah, that's not the word. Like, but it is the word and you have to Google it to make sure. Urchin is one of those for me. Is that an urchin? Because when I think of an urchin, I think of like a 17th century child dressed in black, shoved up a chimney to clean, clean it out in London. You know, that's an urchin, isn't it? And this is an urchin as well. There's not really much correspondence between the two there, really, is there? Mm, it's very strange, you know? Anyway, it's, uh, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at those cool designs all over it. So cool. Is that the, like, part of an inner tube of a tyre? It would be metal like that, would it? Just this bit here kind of reminds me of that. I'm not sure, anybody? That was a little beauty tone-wise. And I think that it's a button. Let's see right there. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, that's a button. Oops, Daisy. I don't think it's got anything on the front, unfortunately. Nah, it's just a pewter, old pewter button. Yes! Look at that! Good day to you, Mum. That is a good old chunk of silver. That is, that is an absolute beauty. It's a florin. I know it's a florin because I've had one before. And I also know, because of the writing around the side, it's a, a, a I was going to say a glophic florin. That's not right. A gothic florin because of the writings gothic not sure what the date is on this but it's going to definitely predate when they started mixing silver with other metals so that is definitely a big old chunk of silver hold on there you go look one florin and when it is good silver like that good silver or good gold like that then they come up in great condition like that and also um it's not even like that that, that tarnished i'm going to get the obviously get the tin foil on that but it's it's in pretty good condition as it is, just around these edges. If I just clean that up with tin foil, um, that is going to come up an absolute peach. That's that, I think that's nicer than the other one I got. Um, 
yeah it definitely is nicer especially that front part there that is gorgeous look at that i'm gonna have to find the date out on on this look at that that is blooming stunning isn't it what condition absolutely lovely yes very happy aha and i think that we might have a penny or half penny here just see that green patina creeping through there let's give that a let's give that a rub down shall we <laughs> i think this kind of puts it into perspective of how nice that silver coin was because that took ages to clean up even just to get it to that that state there but it is obviously of course a copper penny so it's it's a, a lot more different but that silver just came up like the day it was blooming lost it was gorgeous anyway this is a uh i think it's a penny uh, or half penny uh, i'm gonna go for a penny and it says 1927 there and it's got britannia on the front good day to you mom and of course if it's 1927 that makes that fella right there looking at us giving us a wink george king george Ah, here we go. We're back onto the ambiguous lead. Um, your guess is as good as mine. It could be a plume weight, I guess. Um, but I don't think so. They're normally a lot more. That could be something related to Viking history, for all I know. Strange, isn't it? What is that? Ah, no idea. No idea. Interesting, though. Yeah, we've got another interesting piece of lead there. It's strange, but it could, uh, possibly a no, not a pot leg. I don't think so. Not that small. But it looks like it, doesn't it? It's very strange. Very strange indeed. That is. Yeah. Not too sure. We have these like ringed part here. Can you see? Mate. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know what this is. It's a bullet, isn't it? A mini bullet maybe but this bit this flattened bit here is weird that wouldn't be the that would be the back of it rather than the front the front would be here wouldn't it I'm just surfing through all of this rubbish here it's really a rubbish infested place this but I'm still picking things up oh wow look at that it's like some sort of badge or mount of some sort oh that's cool reminds me of the uh batman sign kind of or is that bit there uh, No, no. But it's got nothing on it markings wise, but I think that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. Now this is strange. I've got a really positive signal over this. Well, I don't know what it is. Anybody, do you want to take your guesses now before we go in? It's well and truly embedded in there, isn't it? Come on, what are you? Pink, it's pink. Uh -huh. What the? Ah, <laughs> oh, you do find some strange old things when you're metal detecting, don't you? I've got no idea what that is. I mean, seriously, I can't even begin to start trying to figure out what that is. I can't even come out with some humorous quip. I'm so befuddled as to what that may be. Anybody? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Whoa, look at this little scarecrow dude I found. I am so putting a face on that. That is cool. It's like a voodoo thing. <laughs> Why do I keep on finding these things, guys? I keep on finding weird and wonderful that is cute, isn't it? It's like that group thing out of, um, what's the film called? Guardians of the Galaxy or something like that. That is cool. If not a little creepy. <laughs> Again. <laughs> ah! We've got ourselves a mystery clod. And we do like a good mystery clod, don't we, my friends? Because it reminds us of Christmas. All right, what have we got inside this mystery clod? Can we see? Oh, no, I can. Oh, damn. Oh, come on. It's a shell case. The part of one anyway you fool i think this is a, a button of some sort i want to do two i think it's i think it's uh kind of delicate though i'm gonna do too much from i'm gonna get the toothbrush out and just gently pry out these pieces here just to see if i can get see what's going on here it's interesting 
Okay, and that is very cool. We have a button. I don't know what it is. It feels navel. Uh, haven't really done much to the other side. I just wanted to focus on this front side. You can see how quickly it's drying. Yeah, that feels navel to me. Oh, you fool. Turn it over. It's an anchor, isn't it? That's why it feels navel, Chris. But that, that's a beauty, isn't it? I've kind of got a bit of mud on it now. I don't do too much uh, messing with it, but yeah, it's an anchor, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and we have our typical and tiresome ball alarm musket. And that's another rounds case of some sort. And I don't mind them when they come up like that, when they're pretty much full and you know they're all there because I think that they're, I think they're cool and you can, you can clean them up. And they're, they're nice things. It's just when you get bits of them is when it becomes a bit of a bit of a pain. Oh, nice! And there's another one there. Look, uh, these could become, as I said, quite quite collectible. And guess what? There's another. Aha! And we do have ourselves another coin of somethingness here. My guess would be in this instance, yeah, it's definitely a half penny. Uh, again, we can see the green patina coming through. Let's give it a quick clean up. Ah, alas, we have too much disease on this one for us to be able to get any type of identification off it. I did just see Britannia's head uh, somewhere over here. Oh, I don't know if she's gone now, but yeah, it's just this stuff, you know. We've got it with definitely a copper coin there. Look, we can see the copper coming through. And of course, we have the green patina, which is the oxidization. Uh, so that's how we know, but I can't get an identification. I probably will be able to when I get home, but yeah, it's definitely a half penny. Absolutely a half penny. I was presuming that this was going to be another bullet again, a bullet case, sorry, a uh, shell case, but no, it's not. Not at all. Mm, I've got no idea what it is, but is it related to something military, do you think? It's a strange thing, isn't it? It's like a bit of pipe, but this bit here. Mm, not sure about that. Not sure at all. Different one here, but it's a nice shiny one, isn't it? And that's just obviously a handle to something, I think or a big metallic nose. So it just started raining like a maniac. And I took some refuge and I just found this. Try and get you out of the wind. A wee little throne. Look at that. Yes. This will be my home now. Well, I won't be catching no coronavirus in here. Ain't no humans for a long, long way away. This is quite comfortable actually, although I do feel, I did hear some snappage when I sat down. Maybe it's uh, not meant for big humans like myself. Let me just stick that back up there, but it's uh, quite nice and I am away from the rain, so I'm quite happy. I had a little drink and uh, maybe a little bite to eat before I wait for this uh, horrid cloud to pass. Hoorah! Okay, I managed to escape the rain straight out wet ground i think i might have a hammered i'm not 100 percent sure but i think that might be possibly a little hammy oh it is it is and that's my first of the year silver hammered oh yes look at that look at that oh. <laughs> And I think that's a Lizzie, so that would be a good day to you, Mom. Let's give this a quick clean up. Um, oh, wow. Love these things. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a uh, that's a Lizzie, all right. So that's going to be 1,500 and something or other. I can't. What's the mint? Uh, the mint is London. Wow, which is kind of strange. Uh, yeah, some distance. Really, typically they're Canterbury from where I am here. Oh, that is a little beauty. And weirdly, I've done, I've been, I've just walked back from this area, and it's because uh, this rain's come down that it seems to, um, it's made the ground wet, and bam, this comes up. I walked over this. I know I did in the drier ground. So there's something to be learned there as well. That is a little beauty. So happy. Can you hear all of that barking? I've just noticed on the hill, on the same field, 100, 200 hounds. Uh, I think I'm in the middle of a fox hunt here. 
I ain't gonna get into the politics of that right now, but. <laughs> the fox, man. Yeah, okay, this is, so I just don't know what the, uh, firstly, I don't know if the dogs are gonna be all right with me. Um, there's a lot of them. And secondly, they might think I'm a saboteur. And if they think I'm a saboteur, then, oh, bleeps is gonna take a bit of a kick in. Yeah, they're coming right at me. Oh, there's a couple of feathers, feather over there, feather there, they're running towards me. I think it's because I'm here. This might hurt. <laughs> past these guys are behaving really weirdly I'm kind of happy I'm in camouflage now oh here they come here they come uh, happy I'm in camouflage because typically um, I don't wear camouflage but the only reason I wear it now is because someone gave me a load of kit and I thought oh I'll use it but this is, this is great because no one can um, Hello, Bella. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was just about to say that they can't see me. Obviously, the dogs will be able to sniff me, but the people that are obviously doing this haven't spotted me yet. <laughs> I'm right in it. <laughs> Interesting button. Got this lovely circular design on it. But, it, mm. but it's kind of black. Yes, it's really black like the devil's soul. Yeah, it's pewter. Strange, strange little artifact that one is. It's cool though. Oh, and bestow the actual axe that took off Ned Stark's noggin. What a piece of history. Okay, I thought I'd do a live one on this because I am in the zone. I am in the hammered zone and that, that signals don't get any better than that. Small item as well. Cool. Right, let's go in then, shall we? I think whatever it is, it's reasonably near the surface. I am next to trees as well, so there's a good possibility that it's going to be um, a shotty shell. But God, that is a good target. Man, that is a good target. Don't you... Don't you change on me now. Don't go changing to try to please me. Who sung that? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh... Oh no, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. <sighs> I'm not going to cry. Not on camera anyway. It's not a hammer, I'm afraid. It's just, uh, unfortunately, just a very small pewter button. Alas. Now, I thought that this was going to be a crotal bell, but it's not. It's a spindle whirl. Oh man, and I think it's absolutely perfect. It's got any designs on it. Look, that's heavy. Wow, spindle whirl. Haven't had one for a while. Do love them. What amazing pieces of history. I'll give it a clean up and if there's anything on it um, design wise, I'll show you it. Now what's the chances of this, right? This is this is fantastic. Uh, so that last uh, signal I said, which was a spindle whirl, and I said it could be a, I thought it was in the first instance, a crotal bell. Next signal. It's a crotal bell. <laughs> Love these things. Look, this one doesn't have any uh, markings on it, but it's still wonderful. Oh, I love crotal bells. They're so cool. Quick clean up. Oh, it does have markings on it, and it is in 
perfect condition. Absolutely perfect. That is, I was about to say I'm gonna put this one on OD, but I put the last one on OD, God, it didn't make a racket. Okay, we have a circular little item here, which I don't think is anything to write home about. I think it's probably a button. Oh no, it's the top of a shotty. No, oh, I've got a proper stonking signal here. Uh, I was just about to dig in, as you can see there, but as I was digging, I noticed on the surface, what I think is to be a button. Yes, it certainly feels like a button. Yes, I think indeed. That is just a box standard bouton. Ah, a nice little pinger here. We've got ourselves a coin in the clot situation as you can well perceive with your own eyes there. Let's have a look. I've got no idea what this is gonna be. Ooh, uh, no, I do have an idea what this is gonna be. I'm probably thinking it's probably gonna be a farthing, isn't it? Oh, I love it when they come out of clod like that. Hey, this one looks like it's gonna be in pretty good condition as well by the looks of it. Uh, I think I can see Britannia on the front now. Yes, I can. We have ourselves a good day to you, mom situation once more. God, I've done well today, haven't I? Let's give this a quick clean up. Ah, yes, indeed. And look, it's a awfully strange shape. It's taken a bit of a battering over the years. So this is a 1933 farthing. 1933, 1933. I think, isn't that when King Kong was released? That might seem a, <laughs> that might seem a very strange and random fact for me just to come out with. Uh, no, but I remember that from my um, my media studies course back in college. Sorry. Uh, and of course that makes, <laughs> it's funny what you remember, isn't it? Um, oh God. <laughs> uh, and that of course makes that a King George uh, in a very funny wonky shape there. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this teeny little thing. And it is teeny, by the way, it's teeny. Um, yeah, it's a little, I think it's a little elaborate button of some sort. God, that's cute, isn't it? That is really cool. Really, really cool. Like it, like it a lot. I think it was in my last video that I had some guys say, oh yeah, what a coincidence that you've got all that stuff lying on the surface, because this field notoriously has stuff just lying on the surface. I've had about three other buttons that I haven't filmed because they're just buttons. Um, but this, <laughs> look, there's something else right there, right? There, okay? Yeah, I'm not planting this stuff. You can see, if you're a metal detectorist, you can see that that is where that is, okay? You can't stick that in there like that, it's ridiculous. Oh, people are so silly sometimes. I'm guessing that these people aren't metal detectorists. Anyway, what is this? I think it's a button. Uh, yeah, it is. It's just a domed button. Oh man, this has been great. I've really enjoyed it. I think it's a button anyway. Yeah, it's just a dome button, I think. But typically the uh, back would be concaved and this one's filled. Mm, okay then. Oh man, that was brilliant. I've just declothed and come in. Um, that was that was that was a fantastic hunt. I think I got everything there that I would want from a detecting hunt. Other than a bit of gold. I got a crotal bell, I got a spindle well. I got a medieval farmer's token. I got a lovely silver hammered. I got a lovely silver gothic florin. Uh, I got a really nice navel button. That was brilliant. What else did I get? I got all sorts, didn't I? Nice little mount. Coins, pennies, farthings, half pennies. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, gold would have topped it off. Uh, uh, maybe a Roman as well, but um, I'm not. I'm not grumbling because that was one of the better hunts that I've had like, recently. That was cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it some way, my friends, and uh, stay safe out there and stay well. And I shall see you in the next video.